Okay, so I thought I'd just do a quick video of how I make my um, crab and place fish cakes. Um, you can use any fish um, or shellfish, but I'm just going to use crab and, and a place I caught the other day. So we're going to boil a pot of water with salt in it, make sure that's up to the boil, boiling point like that. We'll lob the crab in uh, for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll take him out and I'll show you what to do after. So the place that we've got, we've put it in the oven to 180. I'm just going to pop it in there. I've drizzled it with a bit of lemon. I would cover the top, but I haven't got a um, cover for some reason. So we'll pop that in middle shelf. Again, for about 20 minutes, something like that. Okay, so what we've done is we've just removed the place from the oven. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the skin. Um, I don't personally like the skin. Um, some people do, some people don't, but it's not my cup of tea. So we'll wait for that to cool down. So we'll wait about five minutes. When it's cooler, um, we'll pick the skin off. It, you can do it when it's hot but um, I've not got asbestos hands, so I'll tell you something. It's, uh, see how easy it is. You can, if, you, if you want to do it when it's hot, it's just as easy to do it when it's hot, cold, whatever. But oh yeah, I take the skin off, and then we're going to pick out the white meat, and then we're going to put it in our fish cake. So nice and easy, so just take the skin off, and then we'll pick out the white meat. So what we've now done is we've drained the crab, and what we're going to do is we're going to pop them on the side, wait till he cools down, and... Um, that way. I always use an oven glove just because they're, they're quite hot, to be honest. I can feel that coming through already. So I'll pop that on the side, let it just drip off and drain. Um, it, they can take 20 minutes to cool down. So, sorry, I've got to get these oven gloves off. <laughs> it's so hot, they're burning right through. Um, yeah, let that cool down. And then we're going to pick everything off. And then we're going to access the meat, put it all to one side and, uh, and start building up the fish cakes. But let me just take you over to the place. So yeah, that's the oven glove I use to take the... Uh, crab off with the place and so what i've done is we've just peeled we've just picked the skin and now all we'll do is we'll just scrape the white meat off of the bones like that and then once we've got all the white meat off this side as you see it literally just comes off the bone it's it's so so easy and you get no bones this way either so we'll get all that white meat off we'll flip her over and then we'll get the other side i Sometimes I, I pan fry place, but for some reason I've um I just don't I just don't like them when they're pan fried. I find them too fishy if that makes sense. Um, so when I put them in the oven, you can they just taste that bit better for me. But yeah, I dribbled in with a bit of leaven before they went in, and um and then we'll pick all the white meat off. So we'll get the white meat on to, to that plate. I'll flip it over and do the other side. So if you just do that, and then we'll we'll get on to the next step. So that's all the fish we managed to get off that place. But I just wanted to just show that like that's. By cooking it on the bone, you, you really don't waste as much meat as filleting it. Um, if you're really good at filleting, obviously you, you don't lose a lot of meat anyway, but I'm not very good at filleting. I mean, I'm, I'm okay, but I'm nowhere near a professional, so I prefer to cook mine on the bone and then just then just pick it off with a, a spoon and a knife to get the most to mo the most meat. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our um, de-shelling and to getting the meat out. Um, one thing I do find with getting it out of the legs um, one thing I should have done first is try and find my, um, I've got a crusher which crushes the shell, I can't remember what they're called, but they crushed the shell so it's easy to get into. But another easy way of doing it, I say easy, it's not easy easy, is obviously grab the leg, twist it and pull, although that doesn't, doesn't always work, but that one hasn't worked. And then when you get, get just a small little hammer like that, and a couple of, a couple of blows like that actually breaks it up and then you can get out the bits of meat. Um, it's not a lot. There's not a lot in crab, you know. You, you've got to work for it. it. It takes, I would say, it takes a good half an hour to get all the meat out of a crab, and you really do not get a lot. So um, you need to like it to be able to do it. But you can get, you can get little bits out, and then I know that's all of it. And here, just twist, snap, twist. So there you go. That's not. That's quite a good little one there. And I just get my fingers and just pull off the meat, and then that just leaves a bit of bone, just a little bit of meat there. Then get, get down to this bit again, and then just one big crack, peel off, and then we're revealed with a bit more meat. So it can be done without a um, without a proper tool, but if you've got the tool, there you go, um, it's certainly worth investing in one. They're not, they're not um, expensive or anything, they just make the job easier. Um, so let's see if we can get a good one here. So. And just get hold of it, twist it, and just pull out gently. We've got a bit there, but there's still a bit in there. So we'll just take off that bit of meat there, get that leg. 
one blow and two blow, and we just separate it, and then that just allows us to get into the meat inside, um, which is good. Also, another good thing, which another tool which you might want to use, is a crab pick. It's a really thin, really thin tool, um, and you can just pick out the meat. I, get, I haven't got one, unfortunately, um, which probably should do for next time. But uh, for this, one, two, cracks up, peel it off, and then just peel off the meat. So you can you can do it like this. It's not a problem. Um, it just takes a bit longer and it's a bit messy, but it is a messy job. Uh, there's no two ways about it. It's a very messy job, it takes a long time, and it makes your kitchen smell. Crab is an exceptionally fishy aroma to it. Uh, yeah, there we go. And that's, and that's that. So we've got a bit of place and a bit of crab. Probably could have got more out of the shell, but for some reason, the, the inside where the brown meat is, um, there was sort of still that spongy orange stuff, so maybe I didn't cook it for long enough. But the meat's nice and white, so we, we can use that. This wasn't exceptionally big crab, obviously the bigger they are, the um, the easier they are to crack and get more meat out of the legs. So, so the legs are the main bit of the crab where the meat is, but in the body you can get quite a bit in there if you spend your mm, time with your pet. I don't know that one. Alexa trying to uh, get involved there. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to do the fish case. So what we've done now is we've just chopped up about five or six potatoes. It depends obviously how much you're making and how many fish cakes you want. Um, just, I'm going to shove these just in the microwavable tub and put in the microwave for about 10 minutes um, until they're really soft and then we'll mash them up. So um, yeah, really easy. You can put a little bit of water in there, just a tablespoon or something like that. Just give it a bit of steam. minutes 30 there you go Let's see what they're like after so we've mashed the potato i've put some mixed um, herbs a bit of onion salt and a bit of pepper in there um a little bit of salt but not too much um i don't go too overboard with the flavoring just because i like to be able to taste the fish so a little bit of mash like that place crab gonna mix it all in i'm gonna just Place the here on here. Stays up. Good girl. So pop the crab in. Pop the place in. Like so. And then we're going to mix all that in. And then all you're going to do after that is put them into um, like fish fish cake like that, about that thick something like that put them in the oven for 20 minutes what you could do is get some egg some breadcrumbs um do, do, do the past the patties egg egg yolk around the side bit of egg and then put the breadcrumb on it but i'm gonna try and keep my carbs low so i'm not having any breadcrumb on these so i'm just gonna shake them up into patties put them in the oven for about 15 20 minutes so there we go they're made up Little one for the dog, two for me, one for the other half. Um, so 20 minutes in the oven and, uh, and they'll be ready.